Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Yes, I know I've been going for a while, but listen, it's all because this legal shit happened. So I'll tell you all that drama when it's all blown away and I'm safe to speak. So I let you know there's a lot of drama coming up. But yeah, that's why I've been gone for a while. Again, I told you guys I want to be really consistent on YouTube and I want to keep that promise. But today marks eight months of my boobies. Here's my boobies. Yeah, looking at my boobies. You're probably wondering, why the fuck is she showing off her boobies like that? The fuck? Like the whole beginning of the video, but that's why. And this is an A cup. This thing is an A cup. But I thought I'd wear it because it kind of like shows the whole shape. Like it pushes it up dramatically, but like you can kind of like tell like here's like a little more relaxed. When it's more relaxed, there's like a slight gap only because of my frame. And if you hear that meowing, that's my cat. And my cat was sleeping right here. Now she's not. So I'm going to tell you guys the mistakes and the good things I've done regarding my boobies and what you should do if you're planning on doing that and yeah haters take a walk take a walk I don't know why you're here if you're hating on plastic surgery you shouldn't be on this video the fuck why are you here you mad sus you mad sus you a pervert that's what you are a pervert if you're here you don't you're not supportive of plastic surgery you a pervert that's all that's the only answer pervert Okay guys, so today marks eight months, like I said. Some of the mistakes I've made kind of like had an impact. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a little bit of stretch marks. Like I have some red marks. I don't want to accidentally show you my nipple, but there's some red marks, you know. The doctors don't tell you everything. My doctor didn't tell me that I need to put on some certain cream, some after cream. So I just left my boobs alone and I completely forgot to put on some cream so I ended up getting a little bit of stretch marks but luckily a lot of it faded away because I started putting um CeraVe, CeraVe, you know that lotion CeraVe I'll show you it in a minute okay so I used at first when I started notice okay bear, berry fell down when I started noticing my stretch marks I was wearing I was started putting on this cocoa butter wasn't really doing anything I put cocoa butter lemon juice and coconut oil and I guess it was placebo effect because I thought it was doing something, but I I don't really know if it was really doing something. I heard it makes your skin a little flexible and it kind of gets rid of those red markings. But then I started using CeraVe because a friend recommended it to me. And no, I'm not sponsored by these people. And if I was, I'd be very happy to be sponsored because I need money. But I ain't making money, unfortunately. So you're welcome, CeraVe. You're welcome, assholes. And it actually helped. Obviously, nothing completely went away, but it, but it helped. It helped get some of that crap away, and um, unfortunately, I'm not as consistent as I should be. You have to put it on multiple times, maybe three times a day, every day, and you'll see some differences, just in case if you made the same mistake that I did. And obviously, if you get to a point of indents, you know, like, and it turns white, you might have to do some drastic measures where you have to go get surgery to remove your stretch marks, which I'm kind of considering because... You know, I got these boobs done, and I don't want to have stretch marks all over them. I paid $6,000, including nipple inversion, because I had inverted nipples, so they made them exverted, whatever the fuck. So originally it was $5,200, plus a discount because my mom went there, and all that crap. But originally it could go up to $10,000 for a boob job. So imagine paying $10,000 for a boob job, and then you get stretch marks, and then now you're still insecure about your boobs. And you're just like, wow, okay, my life sucks. However, I'm not insecure about my boobs. I like my boobs. I didn't because I'm short. If I was tall, I would be rocking up, you know, trying to rock up tiny boobs. But because I'm short, I feel like I looked like I was 12 years old. I couldn't sneak into the clubs. I wanted to go to the bars and hang out, you know. But I couldn't because my tiny tits made me look like I was 12. My friend who got um, implants told me that I should continue wearing the medical bra every night before I go to sleep because she doesn't know if my doctor was correct on six weeks. I was a little skeptical too because I do have like a small gap. Like, it could be like this big, it's like this big, it's like, you know, like, there we go. Like it's like that big, the gap, like when I remove this bra, but when I put them back, you know, they kind of bring them back together. This boob has a scar that's a little more visible, a lot more visible than this one. Like this one looks perfect, but like if I, randomly met someone and they would have no idea that this one was an implant just by the appearance 
But this one, however, you can see that cigar, so I have to make up some fucking story and be like, listen, I had breast cancer, you know, so I had to get this shit fixed, and they, you know, I'm surgeon and shit, you better not judge, because my ass is a survivor, you know, like, all that shit. Unfortunately, but, you know, you can always have scar removal and scar lightening, you know, to lighten it up. When I was healing, it was a pain. Holy shit, it was a pain. Usually it takes, like, two months or a month or, or a month, you know, for your boobs to drop. Like, they go all the way up here. And then they look natural. Mine don't look natural right now because I'm wearing an A cup. But if I showed you my boobs, which I'm not going to, perverts, they do look pretty natural every time I show friends and stuff. They're like, girl, what? I couldn't even tell. I, could, I have no idea. And that's because you have to be smart about it. Um, if you tell them you want porn star titties, then you're going to look like a porn star. And then everyone's going to be like, all right, she got implants. But if you tell them I want natural but big titties, round, nice, I'm a C now. I'm a C. And that's perfect for my body type. I'm petite, I'm short, 5'1". So you have to work around your body type. So who knows? Maybe you're a bigger person and you need bigger boobs, like a D or something to match your body type. It's different for everyone. The hardest part about healing is going to sleep. Because you have to sleep upright like this. You have to sleep just like this. Like, up. Like. Who sleeps like that? What am I, 80 years old? Like, I'm... No! That's just uncomfortable. On top of that, when you have a boyfriend, when you got a boyfriend and they don't understand the concept of fucking surgery. They just think, oh, bigger tits. Can I play with them now? No, you cannot play with them now. You cannot. They're healing. You want to touch some rocks because they feel like rocks. You like rock titties? Then go ahead. You touch them, I'm going to have lumpy dumpy dumpies, okay? You like that? All right, well, that's too bad. You can go get a sex toy who got lumpy dumpy titties. Because I ain't doing that shit. I'm sorry. So, that shit's annoying. You can't cuddle. You can't do nothing. You have to sit there like a fucking mummy statue, whatever the fuck, for however long they tell you. For me, it was six weeks. And that was like the worst six weeks ever of sleeping like that. And when I finally got to sleep on my side, till this day, I can't sleep a certain way. Because like if I'm trying to cuddle with my boyfriend and shit, and my boobs are like pressed against his chest, it hurts. I'm like, ow, bro, the fuck, move. Like, I can't do that. I can't do that. And, you know, sometimes sleeping on your side hurts, then you have to sleep on the other side. But then sometimes you want to sleep, like, like, you want to sleep like this, hugging the pillow, you know, like that, like that. I don't know if you can see me. But, and even that hurts. It's like, uh, like, it's kind of hard to sleep. And I'm hoping, because it's only been eight months, that that will go away eventually. And, you know, I'm the fastest healer out of anyone that I knew with breast implants. I was on the plane two days after moving and grooving on my Percocets. Y'all should know my last video. And everyone's like, I don't know how the fuck you did it. I don't know how you started walking after that. That's insane. And then by, like, two weeks, maybe, not even, like, a week, I started waving my arms around, being able to whip my arms, you know, like, being flexible and shit. It hurt, you know, I was still using my Percocets every day, but I was able to move and shit and walk around like nothing happened. I was able to get away with it when my grandparents and everyone were just like, yeah, I'm fine. Just like, this is my bombshell. But, yeah, it's different for everyone. Um, I've heard situations where people were, you know, laying down for weeks and they couldn't get up, they couldn't move, they were so much pain. Luckily, I'm not one of those people, but... I think it depends on how big you go for your frame. Because the person that I heard this from is very, very small. Like, I'm pretty small, but this girl is like, her frame is smaller than mine. You know, her implants are smaller, but her tits look huge. You know, I got 355 cc's. She had 325, and she was like, I heard she was in pain for like a whole year. Like, that's just crazy. I can barely handle six weeks, and I don't hold you. Like, ha, 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 no. Mm. Um, your nipples are going to be so weird. You're not going to be... Me, I felt numbness. I felt numbness throughout the whole beginning. And I still don't feel much of a sensation. And it's eight months. Um, you know, if I touch them lightly, I won't feel anything. But if I pinch them, give it pain, then I feel something. So now I'm like some of those kinky ass bitches who are like... I'm like to my boyfriend, I pinch it, pinch it. I like pain, bitch. Get nipple clamps. I want nipple clamps. You know, he's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, bitch... I can't feel anything if you lightly, gentle touch it. Like, bitch, bite it, suck it, do something. You know, like, I ain't playing games right now. So, 
I don't know if you're gonna be like one of those. It's also, I have to tell you, I got nipple inversion fixer upper. So my nipples were innies, they made them outies. I can't breastfeed anymore. And either way, a lot of people who have innies can't breastfeed. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I wanna have outies because I thought it would give me more sensitivity. If I knew that I wouldn't, I still wouldn't have like the sensitivity I wanted, I really wouldn't have done it. I would have saved that $600, but it is what it is. And what's weird is that when you get that surgery, for me, this one will be out way more than this one. This one's hiding, like, a lot. Like, always in any... This one's out. So it's like, okay. I was always weirded up at breastfeeding anyway, so I was like, I don't know, my baby's gonna suck my nipple. But, you know, if I really want to, I'll do it anyway. I'll be like, suck it, bitch. Like, but I'm, I don't know one human being would want to do that. Like, why would I want my child to be like, suck my nip, suck my suck on me, bitch. That's so... Anyways, so yeah, um, your nipples are going to be so weird. It could take up to, the, to a year to get full sensitivity back. And I'm hoping, I'm praying to God that by my year, when my year's finished, that I will get some sensitivity. Because they do have a percentage, like 15% of people will not get their sensitivity back. And I don't want to be one of those because right now all I can feel is pain. And very rarely I can feel like s some sensitivity. Very rarely. You know, and I don't want it to be like that. So hopefully by the end of the year. So I'm just giving you a precaution that may happen to you too. So I'm telling all of you people who want to get plastic surgery, plastic surgery for boobs. Make sure you do research. Understand what size you want. Understand if you want moderate profile, high profile, low profile. I got moderate profile. Because high profile, I was like a little, you know, sometimes I'm like, mm, I kind of wish I had high profile. But it's a little more noticeable when you get high profile that they're fake. You know, like, I was still trying to go natural because you have to think about it. If you're planning to have kids, your boobs are going to grow. So I'm going to see. When I have kids, my boobs are going to grow. So we got to all beware of that. We all got to beware of that. Remember, ask your doctor about creams and what you should do afterwards because they might not tell you. Because my guy was like, he's like, all right, so I'm going to do this. Go in the room. Cut you open. All right, you're good. Wear this bra six weeks. Bye-bye. Have a good day. I was like. All right, what the fuck? I'm planning to get a Brazilian butt lift next. Um, that's ten thousand. I might do some credit, care credit, whatever the fuck. But that shit's cool. Um, whoever's with me on that, it's only. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'd be funny. But yeah, so make sure you have the right creams. Like I said, I use, I'm sure if you use Cerave since the beginning, you won't get any stretch marks, and you'll be fine to go. You know. Because this should actually help me fade away stretch marks, so I can only imagine how good it is as pre at preventing stretch marks. Make sure you moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Massage your boobs right after, because if you don't massage your boobs every single day, a couple of times a day, one, it feels good because you're in so much pain, and two, you will get lumps. Tissue buildup, and I heard of someone who didn't massage their boobs and tissue buildup, they had to take a plane all the way back to their surgeon and get cut open again, and that shit's not fun. You don't want that. More scars pretty freaking annoying after you're done wearing your medical bra you might not even want to wear bras i tried wearing a bombshell after and that shit's like unnecessary it just makes it look crazy like um you'll see the bra like the bra ends here and then you'll see a bump here like you'll see something popping out so you don't want to do that you want to have normal bras um something that i really love is those bras that you pull down and then they pr they go together um, I might have it still. I don't have it with me. However, I love those bras because, you know, after surgery, depending on your shape, a lot of people end up getting like a small gap. So when you use those bras, even natural boobs, you, you need something to make that cleavage show. So those bras are fucking awesome. Like, I love those bras. I, if I could make my whole draw those bras, I would. However, I will say that they can make you a bit itchy. That's a little tedious. I remember... <laughs> Sorry. I got down. I remember at one point I thought I had to go to the doctors or something because they were like getting weird. So yeah, that's the update on boobies and how they be, you know, how boobies can be after a couple of months. I'm 19 years old, if you're wondering. I'm 19 now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I post whenever, so if you put on your notifications, you'll see, oh shit, this bitch posted again, I want to see her ratchet ass going on and on and on about the titty. So yeah, please do that. And I love you guys. Uh, support, support, support. Good things are coming, so talk to you soon. Bye.